Ethan, Ethan. Mm, All yes. right, I've been running some numbers, doing some tests. I think I'm onto something really big. No one else is onto this. We can make a ton of money. What you got? All right, we have accounts full of 61s, right? But we also have very little 82s. All right, I have an idea. We get rid of all the 61s, we refinance all the 82s, and then triple up on our 49Bs. Now that'll open up a market for us to do way more reviews of action movies, which will then allow us to then triple up on the 49s again, and then if all that correlates correctly, then the 99Bs, 4s, will then get way bigger, and then by the end of 2016, we'll be millionaires. Now my question for you is, would that work? I drew a dog. I got... It's a good yeah, didn't even spell dog right. It's a dog. Hey everybody, I'm Ethan. I'm Jonathan. And I'm John, and we're here to review the 2015 movie, The Big Short. So this movie is the true story of before the housing economy collapsed in 2008, there were a bunch of bankers, and not really guys who worked at big banks, just sort of almost weirdos doing their own thing in different places of America, who saw it coming from a mile away by spotting all these trends. And then they basically made a bunch of risky investments that bet against the American economy, basically. And this story just tells their whole story. Right, and how they predicted the housing market and then how they eventually and made a bunch of money off of it. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I really liked about this movie was, it, it, critical to the story of this movie are a lot of uh, very like complicated financial yeah. concepts that you have to understand to know the movie. And I think it did a really good job of explaining them to the basically. audience and making them entertaining. It does a really good job of simplifying complex economics. Yeah. Uh, they do a lot of... It, unorthodox ways. I don't want yeah. to spoil it, but unorthodox ways of explaining yeah. how it works. But by the end of the movie, your average Joe can definitely understand uh, the very complex uh, Just get a basic idea crap of fest, happened, basically. The of, big crap fest. Yeah, we, yeah, the we, major credit is good is. because I don't know anything about numbers or money. And I gotta say, going into this, or com I'm sorry, coming out of this, it is heavy. Yeah. It is so heavy it's definitely in financing and economic terms and phrases that, again, while it does give you the means to understand it, you gotta be focused. You yeah. do. The, in this movie moves so pretty quickly. If you're looking at your phone on Snapchat or whatever, just, just don't do it. it. Don't do it. Yeah. Pay it attention. Pay attention. This um, is a really good movie. But as a movie itself, the script is fantastic. Yeah. I love the script. Uh, it's very well written and of course... Based the, off the book. Yes, the script is carried on by the excellent performances by Steve Carell. <laughs> You yeah, have, um, Christian Bale, Christian Ryan Bale, Gosling, Brad Pitt's in it. Brad Pitt is in it. I they all do extremely well. Finn Whitrock. Okay. He was good too. Yeah, he was. I think Christian Bale and Steve Carell in particular really just sink into their role. They, really they become these I can players. definitely see some best actor nominations. Not, yeah. not maybe between supporting and maybe leading. Yeah. Because it was strange because the story keeps switching back and forth between Christian Bale, Steve Carell, and another and, group. And Finn Whitrock's. Um, yeah. I think yeah. it's Finn. I think it's Whitrock. Yeah. What? And his group. So it's hard to pin down a main character, but it is interesting to see all the stories like meet yeah. at the very really centralized, I think it would probably be Steve Carell's group. Yeah. Yeah. But the I really think, was I think it goes Steve Carell's group and then Christian Bale. Than the other group. But most of the focus was divided pretty <coughs> evenly. I think that yeah, worked. Yeah, yeah. It never felt like no, there were no loose ends. It never felt like we didn't right. get enough about one person. It was yeah. all really just engaging and well done. If there's one thing I definitely have to bring up, this movie is definitely not for everyone. It's very complicated. It's very wordy. Uh, if you're looking it, for the wolf, oh, if you're looking for the Wolf of Wall Street, this isn't it. It's yeah. not this really is the actual economics. Oh, this is yes. just entirely built on its dialogue and characters. This is what the one worker that you saw in the back of the Wolf of Wall Street did. This is what he was doing. This is yeah. what he was yeah. doing. So if you like this type of a movie, then you're gonna love it. But yeah. let's just say if you're a Transformers Extinction guy, stay away. It's yeah. not for you. The rest of the bro. world doesn't need you anyways. So. Oh come on! Wow! Man. Just, wow! Uh, you like that <laughs> movie? Yeah, you don't necessarily have to be interested in finance or the economy, but you just have to enjoy movies that are really built on their characters and their story and dialogue. Absolutely, yeah. So, all things considered, John, what are you going to give The Big Short? I love The Big Short. It really blew yeah. me away. The characters were great, very well cast, made me understand the economics of it well. The script was impeccable, well-paced, tense, natural dialogue, characters well-developed. Loved it. I'm going to give The Big Short five out of five stars. One of my favorite movies of the year. I think this is going to go for a Best Adapted Screenplay Oscar. For Probably. Sure. Yes. It's going to be like this, Man, that's a, that's Brooklyn, a and a couple of other things. Well, John, coming off that Smoking Heart rating, which I, I didn't did. expect to see. No? But, uh... You didn't yeah. expect it? Even though we had, this, say, even though we had we this conversation afterwards. But anyways, I love this movie. As a matter of fact, I, surprisingly, I enjoyed this much more than I did Star Wars, which I, given a few months ago, I would have never thought would have happened. Ooh. This movie is really excellent. I can't really see any flaws with this movie. And the only other 
movie I can really compare it with is Sicario, which was earlier this very, year. Which, very different. Which very different movie, but very few flaws. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and agree with John on this one. I absolutely love this movie, and I'm going to go ahead and give The Big Short a 5 out of 5 stars. Well, you guys really liked it. Um, it's okay. Go no, I, 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 here. I really liked it, too. I thought there was great writing, great characters. The actors did a fantastic job. For me, it was just trying to get past the wall of the dialogue being really hard. He sucks out. I see what I, okay. I'm, I'm bad at math, okay? I don't know about numbers. Really, fantastic movie. It's just, I, it's hard. It's hard for me, personally. Yeah. And that's not even my fault. That's, I'm sorry, that's not even the movie's fault. That's my fault. Yeah. So I can't fault the movie for that, which is why I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. All right. All right, guys, so I recommend you see The Big Short if you're into these types of movies. I know it won't appeal to everyone, but if you want a movie with just great characters and a great script and great acting, don't miss The Big Short. All right, so if you see it already, let us know in the comments below what you thought of it. Also, just give us some criticism, helpful feedback in our reviews. We will listen to all that and read all that. No lives. And uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get content updates and follow us on Twitter at Stubmasters. And also, if you want to look as good as these three dashing fellas, you can go to cafepress.com forward slash Stubmasters to buy all types of merchandise. Yes. All right, for Stubmasters Reviews, I'm John. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Ethan. Have a great day.